Yes, uh, Honorable Wandai. Uh, thank you very much, the Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, let me say that this afternoon I stand before this House a very happy man. Honorable Speaker, today you have made history. I want the Speaker to, to, to listen to me. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying that today you have made history and you have put this House on the pedestal of a transformative institution, an institution that adheres to the rule of law and constitutionalism. Honorable Speaker, under Article 152, this is this motion by the Honorable Jack Wamboka is the last resort that the people of this country through their elected leadership can take as a way of holding to account those uh, uh, that uh, have been put in service of the nation. Order, Honorable Honorable Speaker, Andai, you are anticipating debate. I just want to thank you very much. That is more thank than thanking the Speaker. And appeal to my colleague members to turn out in their large numbers. We want this House on Thursday to be full to the brim so that we can speak in one accord. We can speak in one voice in defense of the, de of the defenseless yeah. Kenyan He's citizen. Thank you, speaker. Honorable Speaker. Yes, Chep Konga. Uh, th thank you, Honorable Speaker. You know, I thought the minority leader just wanted to thank you, not to appeal to us to do an oversight role, which is guaranteed under Article 95 of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, we are aware about that particular provision. So there's nothing to appeal to any of us here. We will play our role when that motion is presented here, Mr. Speaker. I can assure him there's nothing to appeal to us when it's a constitutional requirement for us. I've already <laughs> cautioned him. He was touting and soliciting. <laughs> Honorable members, take your seats. We'll go to order number eight before we come back to... Let's put the question as order number eight, number nine, 10, and 11. A call out, order number... Number nine, sorry. Eh? The resolution. Okay. Order number eight, procedural motion. Resolution to hold a Thursday morning sitting. Majority Leader. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 33C, this House resolves to hold a morning sitting on Thursday, 2nd May 2024, commencing at 10 a.m. for purposes of considering priority business ahead of the long recess. Honorable Speaker, I'm sure members will note I have amended the 9.30 that was published in the order paper as agreed by the House Business Committee this morning that we begin the sitting at 10 a.m. And Honorable Speaker, the reason for having this Thursday morning sitting, as you have ably communicated and uh, following the notice of motion by Honorable Wanami Wamboka, that motion has, is time-bound and therefore we must dispense with it by Thursday. And considering that we are losing a sitting uh, tomorrow afternoon, it's important that we compensate that sitting for tomorrow afternoon with the Thursday morning. And allow me to plead with all members to be available on Thursday, 9.55 a.m. for the House to be able to sit from 10 a.m. Consider the business that will be on the order paper, including that motion for impeachment of a cabinet secretary that is time-bound. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I want to ask members to uh, be available on Thursday. It is also our last sitting day before the long recess, which is a long working recess, and therefore it will be important that we are here in time. With that, Honorable Speaker, I beg to move and request the leader of minority to second. Honorable Wandai. Sorry, just give me. Honorable Speaker, I rise to second the motion as moved by the leader of majority. And Honorable Speaker, really, since tomorrow is a holiday, it's a public holiday, we need to really recover the days we shall have lost tomorrow. But more importantly, Honorable Speaker, 
there are businesses before us that we need to dispense with. We need to dispense with certain businesses before we go on the one-month recess. And the top of the agenda is the motion by the Honorable Jack Wamboka that we need to pronounce ourselves on the House on Thursday, the earliest possible time on Thursday, before we can adjourn for the long recess. Secondly is the IABC Amendment Bill, which is one of the NADUCO bills that are being processed by Parliament. Uh, Honorable Speaker, this morning we had a session with you under your able chairmanship, and we were able to thrash out some of the sticking issues uh, surrounding that bill, uh, save for one or two, one, one, basically one, one small issue that we shall be delivering in the course of time between now and, and Thursday morning. We should be able then, therefore, to dispense with that bill on Thursday at the committee of the whole House so that the Senate can be seized of it for us to be able to put, have in place an, a working, functional IBC, Honorable Speaker, in the shortest time possible. So, uh, Honorable Speaker, therefore, I think it is in order for us to support this motion, for us to be able to sit on Thursday in the morning. Even though we have agreed on Thursday at 10 a.m., let us try to be here as early as 9.30 a.m. so that we can deal with these issues uh, 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 properly. Properly, Honorable Members. This is a historic moment. We never get it easily. A whole house, a whole time of parliament can go without you getting an opportunity to deal with a motion such as the one presented by Honorable Jack Wambok. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I, sub I second. Honorable Members, I now propose the question, which is that pursuant the provisions of Standing Order 33C, this House resolves to hold a morning sitting on Thursday, 2nd May 2024, commencing at 10 a.m. I believe you moved the motion, Order Majority Leader. You moved the motion in amended form commencing at 10 a.m. for purposes of considering priority business ahead 